In this class, we will introduce you to the new AutoCAD 2010 interface, which is quite similar to previous program interfaces. Take a look at the browser menu. It is possible to view recently opened documents on this menu. A search field has also been added up here to allow you to search for a specific command just by typing the name. It is also possible to display the previous program interface, displayed as toolbars and menus. You just need to access the workspace switching option. Here on this menu, you select the AutoCAD Classic option. However, in this course, you will use the new interface. So, for this reason, let's change the display mode back again. Another available option is for sketching 3D projects in workspace switching. We recommend keeping this option enabled to facilitate using commands studied in this course. Take a look at the Home tab on the menu and tool ribbons, where you find tools known by program users as primitive solids and also solid editing commands. And you can see a new tab, Mesh Modeling, added to this version, which you will study in greater detail throughout this course. There are tools for creating mesh objects on this tab, quite similar to programs that employ an organic modeling concept. See this example. If you need more space in the workspace for viewing project, just click the Minimize to Panel title, placed next to Tabs. See how the panels are hidden now. Place the cursor on the button and you can see its name has changed to Minimize to Tab. Click it now and only the tabs will be visible. Observe. In the upper right hand corner there is an icon which had already been added in the 2009 program version named the View Cube. Through it you can rotate the model or select one of the views. This is so handy when you need to see a specific model view, for example the top or front view. However, in order to view a model in the perspective or isometric mode, you need to press the shift key and the mouse wheel button. Observe. Another new feature in this version is the option for repositioning the panels using the mouse. By clicking the panel and then repositioning in its desired place. So in this class, you have learned about some new interface components in the AutoCAD 2010. Throughout this course, you will learn other ways to work in AutoCAD 2010, which provide streamlined handling of required tools for 3D modeling.